Hi, good morning. Today, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna be making a, another wing, just like I made in my car. This is gonna be a lot longer. This is the one I did, same technique using the aluminum and the back of the car covered. That's what's in the back of the car. The car's looking good so far. I added a little couple of skulls to it inside there. So what I'm gonna do today it's basically taking measurements from uh, Quicksilver, okay, which basically uses a cut deck space about a five by five inches. And when this is placed up, you get an angle, something like that. So I'll be weighing this later on once I'm done. You know the primal parts, excellent product. They work great on all these cars. Love love the primals. You know, Dan does a fantastic job. And then I'm um, making this one here, which is basically the same width. So this one I have, I just pre-marked it. Four inches total of deck space, about an inch and a half of wing, which is probably just about the same as this on this side. And I gotta put this all through the bender bend it up, do my tabs. I'm using my side pieces that I had made a while ago. Okay, which are different in style. Than the other ones, the difference in them, see? This is a shy thicker, but not by much, they're pretty much the same. This is the same one that's on the car here. Same one. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna just bend these up. I already pre-cut this, mark my bending tabs because once I bend, once I put a slit here, I'll bend this up and that'll be my deflection. And I'll be able to put my screws in and then I could cover it, I could do what I want. Okay, so this one stands about the same width as primal. Okay. So this is how it would be width-wise on the back of the car. See the difference in here in width? Okay, pretty sturdy, protects the back of the car really good. Mine's a lot thinner, a lot lighter. Could still take a hit. I've hit these, it's gonna be the same. What makes this stronger is once you put the crease in it, like I did on this one over here. Once you put the crease, it's, it solids up pretty, pretty good. And it's just a matter of uh, bending the corners, putting V-cuts, and then bend it. And then once I get that all done, I'll show you how far I got, because I got to set up the bender and start putting this big little kink into it. In other words, the deflection. So let's stand by and let's see how far we get. Okay guys, right now we have this uh, somewhat set up over here, so we could do the bend. Right there. There you go. Okay, I got the jig all set up. Let's give it a try. He has been clamped down, give it a pull. He's just going to be deflecting from this side over here. So whatever is here, this stays flat. But whatever you pick up here, the same is going to be here when it's deflected. So you're just going to pick up this to the angle that you want. Let's give it a pull and see. We got a very good pull out of it. Should work about fine, it should be almost equal to this. So, let's see, let me pull. Wrong one. Okay. So, this is basically the deflection over here. So, hopefully, let's see, you take this out. Okay. 
I got a little trimming, a little trimming over here. But this will be the deflection that you're gonna get. So this will be this will be the back. The back side is the front side. So as long as you're within the curve, see right here is perfect. That's where you're going to be more putting your holes. Because now when this gets done, I'm going to take these ends and I'm going to bend them back. So this should reach. It's right about there. Just makes it on the bend. Right about there. There you go. Well, and I'm just going to start to uh, bend these tabs up and uh, align them up. Okay, next thing that gets done is I put two cuts. One over here. One over here. And I put one other cut on the other side. So this is how it's going to go. I'm going to put it inside here. Line it up. Nice, just straight on the line. These are going to be your tabs, your fold down tabs. So once you had that one in here, quick, quick bend. Take the other side on the mark. Do another bend over here. Then you have to line these two up over here. Make sure they're straight. It's across the jaw. You see, make so many of these wings. Give it a little squeeze in here. And what that does is going to line up perfectly straight. This one already pre cut. Same, same thing goes here. I'm going to put it on the mark, the, the mark that you drew, and that one goes over. And you're going to do the same on the other side. And once you got that in there, pretty good. That's the other side. And again, if you look closely, see, not aligned. You're just gonna put it back in the vise. And there you have it. Now what also happens with this, it becomes more rigid, more rigid material, okay? You know, of course, carbon fiber is a lot better. It's harder, harder to bend. But this becomes very rigid, you know, so it works out pretty good. So now that you have this part made over here, okay, that would be, you know, for the sides. Once the side's done, you could pick, you know, you could pick a primal, primal side if you want, anything you wish. But we're going to go with the one that I have, which is this one, okay? So on this one over here, the way it's gonna go, let me just get this out of the way. Now you have a back wing, right? You got material that's very rigid, okay? And I've used these on my cars all the time. Okay, and I see how you got the, the holes. These were pre-drilled. I had a friend of mine make these a while ago. It's actually the last pair. I can, I can make these out of something else if I had to. Okay, and these little lines, as long as they cover the holes, you're good to go. So all I would have to do is basically drill those in. I'll just show you a quick marker, you know, what I mean about that. Let me just get the vise. Here's basically what I have. I'm just holding it up so you guys see what it is. This is how it's basically going to look with the flaring in the back. 
this is I'll cover this later on. Then that's the angle for the bottom. Okay, and then on the other side, you should be able to see the marks, the drill marks where they're all going to go. So they all align up. Now this particular wing. If you're doing a primer wing or you want to copy a wing, whatever you want to do. Okay, there's something that we call, uh, besides the width, the width in this wing is about 14 and a half. Another thing you got to consider when it comes to a wing, okay, is the amount of deck space that you have that you're working with. Deck space is the amount that you have from here. To here okay so the deck space which also reflects what the side is when you're building a wing okay deck space on this one with the bend even though it looks big on the camera whatever it's only four inches which is the same size wing on the other side I think the prime was like five and there should be plenty of deflection I don't think I need any more you know, I'm probably going to bring it down a little bit, which is very easy to do. I just put it back in the vise and kick it back a little bit. But uh, other than that, I uh, hope you enjoyed it so far. I'll just start finishing it up and start drilling out the screws uh, so you can see it again. Okay, guys, this is what we're up to. Mounted the sides, just like I said. Up in the back. Aluminum wing. It's probably going to get... You know, I'll drill it later on and I'm going to continue the video. Uh, the holes for the mountain, maybe I'll cut it and maybe do relief holes for pressure. But I uh, hope you liked the quick video on how to do a wing, how to make one from scratch. Because sometimes you got to do what you got to do and make things work. That's always like that for me. I kind of like doing it myself. So in the next shot. Uh, we should have the finished product right on the car. Okay, guys, I just figured I'd just put it on the car. I'll drill it later on today, make any little changes I have to the car. But uh, this is how it sits on the car because if you have a primer wing, the primer wing sits up at about here, about the same edge. See? Quicksilver. Mine's going to sit a little further back. Right about there. That's how she's going to sit. In the back of the car. So it's looking pretty good so far. Trying to make it, you know, make it better. I'll get the times down. Just, I got to play with this car more. Everything you do when you got to race is you got to play, you got to play. You know, big shout out to Primal RC for uh, getting the parts that I ordered for this car and, you know, helping out. You know, I really appreciate it from Dan you know, doing this type of work, you know, making everything go good and making the hobby grow. So I hope you enjoy the video how to make a wing. And uh, I guess we'll see you at the line.